Yeah, baby, take your time, make a play. They go to double. 77 should have come off to get you, but he stumbles and falls. You make a play and stuffs seven on seven crime. Yes, sir. Today, we're talking about Riley Pettyjohn, one of the top linebackers in the country. He just recently dropped his top four, which is USC, Ohio State, Texas, and Texas A&M. Now, I'm not sure where he's going, but make sure if you're a fan of any one of those four schools, you let them know in the comments section. Let's get into his film. All right, let's get into his film. Let's see what he's talking about, man. Here we go, Riley Pettyjohn, 120 tackles, one interception, and 10 TFLs. Yeesh. Let's go, baby. All right, little kickoff action. All right, what you gonna do, Riley? Yeah, baby. I'm loving it, man. That's how you do it, baby. I want you to wrap him up, though. All right, here we go. Playing outside the box. Uh, I ski. Let's go. What you gonna do with it? Nothing. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, though, baby. I love it, man. Great interception. Good reaction. Let's go. Come on. Mm. Like I said, big dude, man. What is he? 6'3", 215 right now. Got good size right there. I mean, like I say, look at him. He's tall. He's long. Hey, Coach Hayes, give him a gold chip. Gold chip in size. Yes, sir. Run down on the kickoff. Shout out to the blimp cam in the building. Like I said, while we're looking at this, USC, Texas, Texas A&M, and Ohio State are in the final four for this young man's talents. Yeah, now this is what you want to see. Let me go back. Let me show you. This is what you want to see out of a linebacker, right? Great reaction. Okay. Kind of gets caught up here. Great. No problem. But I love the way he puts his foot in the ground. And now watch this. Everything is down here. That's what you want out of a linebacker. Look at that. Total loss right there. TFL. Uh, good tackle. Now, I will say he got caught up here. With this guard, or this tack, I guess it's a tight end coming off. I believe right here. Comes off, he gets caught up, right? You got to be able to avoid those guys. Not mad at you. It's football. It happens. But what I love the best is you get off of it, come here and make a play for about a three, four yard game. Uh oh, goal line stands. Linebackers, where you at? They can't get in. What you going to do? Oh, great job right here. And here's what I tell people all the time. Let's let's break this down. Let's get into this. You're going to see an inside movement here, inside movement here. He's going to be responsible for this outside. Here's what the best part about it is, man. He keeps the edge, right? So he's going to give the ball, fake like he's giving the ball inside. Quarterback's going to keep it for the zone read. Best thing Riley does is make sure he builds a wall. And if you watch enough of my videos, I always talk about Protecting the edge, being the guy who is the force player. Watch what he does right here. Boom. Inside movement. Great. Now you are the edge player. You do not have this dive because if you go forward, he pulls it. He walks in the end zone. You got to rely on these guys to do their job. That's exactly what he does. But here's what I like. Boom. Good extension. Roll. Make a play, baby. Yes, sir. I hear you, seven. Uh. Again, playing downhill, looking at the stick, second and, and short, or second and long, excuse me. Yes, sir. I love the way he plays downhill. Look at this. Everything is downhill. They're trying to get this guy to come up, right? They combo blocking. He's going to come up and get him, and he is avoids him. See that little, little, little shimmy right there that gets him to miss makes a great tackle. Oh, all right. What do we got here? A little draw, right? A little lead draw. So what you're going to get on the lead draw, the full back, they show like it's a pass. He's going to come in here and block seven. Everybody else is accounted for. It's a draw. What I only thing I will say to you, Riley, right? Once you commit yourself, don't play with him. Blow him up. Trust the homies. Blow him up. Now, I do like the fact you got off of it. But at the next level, they ain't going to look like this. They're going to be a lot bigger. So blow him back in there and you want to disrupt this. So now he has to dance and try to get around this. All right. But I love the way you snatched him off and really stopped it right there. Line of attack, man. Perfect. Mm. 
Yeah, baby, take your time, make a play. They go to double. 77 should have come off to get you, but he stumbles and falls. You make a play and stuffs seven on seven crime. Yes, sir. Speed, gold chip. I think you're playing at the proper speed. I almost forgot to do these things. I'm so enamored with your tape, man. Speed, gold chip. I think you play right on par for a power five linebacker, man. Let's go. Finally, a linebacker playing pad. Yes. I love this part right here about your game, right? I love the fact you took a peek, right? Let's let, let's pay attention to this. All right. Second is second in sticks right here. But watch what he does with his head. Boop, takes a peek. Let's see what the threats are. I know it's only two of it. So really it's four on two right here. Perfect. Takes another peek to see if anybody's coming into his, his zone. He doesn't. Finds out where he is. PBU, baby. Great job right there. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Effort, gold chip. I'm giving him a gold chip and effort. I think he definitely fights hard to make the plays, comes downhill and does a great job right there. But what you got to do in these right here, you got to go get this cat for a loss. You got to go get him, baby. He need to be tackled right up in here. But he begins to kind of turn that corner and he gets ahead. That's what you got to be able to do at this next level. Good tackle right there. Good solid tackle. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Come on. I love the way you faked it, man. Good way to fake it, right? Kind of got caught up there. Fakes it. Uh, 77 forgets about you. Smash number five, man. Fundamentals and technique. Gold chip. And as soon as I say it, you do a great job, man. I love the fact, look at this, playing man coverage right in his hip, right ball not coming your way, but it's showing your fundamentals and technique. Great job right there. Come on, come on, seven. They ain't empty, go get him. Ooh. He folding five up. He barely, like just barely missing these sacks, man. And I'll say this too, he does a good job with open field tackles. Good job with open field tackle to gator roll. See, like the blitzing is some. I, I get where you're going. You're trying to navigate through here, but maybe the timing or so, like right there, that little one hasn't that little hezzy stuff right there. I get it, but that's the difference between a sack and him getting the ball off. Still a great play, right? You disrupting the play. I'm not knocking that, but if you want to be a blitzer. You got to perfect timing. You got to be able to pay attention to the cadence of the quarterback that you're facing. All of that kind of stuff, man. That was where great blitzers come from. They know when the ball is being snapped and everything. Yes. Come on. Look at this. Love it. Downhill. Big boy right here playing hard for you. Great tackle right there, seven. Intangibles. And here's where I'm gonna go with it, right? Let's go back. Let's go back and look at this. Intangibles, gold chip. Intangibles are the things that you can't coach. And I'm gonna give you a gold chip when it comes to that. Here's a perfect example right here. Now, technically speaking, what you should do is you should go over the top of this guy, right? Because everybody's here. He's gonna be here. He's already inside. You go over the top. But what do you do? You actually go underneath it. Now. If you go underneath it, I'm going to show you something before I like you go underneath it. Let's say he blocked you right there. If he pins you in, if he pins you in, look at this running back. He's got all this room to go. Yeah, you got a blocker out here, one here. So he may get tackled in this area. But guess what? It's a 10 yard game. Now, what I will say to you, if you go underneath, make sure you make that play because it's a player's move. Not mad at you. What one one bit at, at all. All right. So all I'm saying is let's take a look at it. You want to kind of scrape over the top typically. I get it. I'm not mad at you. But why is this important? A lot of people, dang, Cody made a play. Because look at all these yellow helmets back here. So if he does cut it back, he's cutting it back into the teeth of the defense. But great play right there. Five-yard gain. 
Come on, goal line stance, baby. We out of here. Oh, such a hard play, man, to finish this deal off. All right, bunch set. They're going to create traffic in here, and they're going to sneak this guy out, knowing that you guys are in man. All right, only thing I will say, when you see four strong, if you ever see, if you ever see four strong, what does that mean? Be prepared for either a rollout or a guy sneaking out, okay? So what do you have to do? Look at his alignment. He's behind the tackle. So scoot yourself over just a little bit, just for that particular reason. You got plenty of bodies on this side for the inside run or for the outside zone going that way, okay? So alignment is key in this right here. And one thing I will give you credit for, you navigated perfectly through the traffic. Watch this traffic. Good job, got over the top, didn't go underneath. All right, poorly thrown, well, not poorly thrown ball, should have caught it, but you definitely would have made the tackle, man. Great job, let's get into your ranking. Riley Petty John, you are a gold chip athlete when it comes to Coach Hayes football. My man, I don't know what school you gonna pick. Somebody out there better start representing. Maybe they might be able to sway you. Will it be Texas, Texas A&M, Ohio State, or USC? Who knows, but wherever you go, you definitely gonna make an impact, my man. So with all that being said, Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.